Hey everybody, it's Shadow Star here, and it's time for more Doctor Who reviews. This time, episode 3 of The Flux, Once Upon Time. And, what the hell even was this? Like, seriously, what even was this? I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I mean, there was just a lot in this. And it didn't really feel like there was a follow-through story at all. Mo literally the entire episode is spent exploring memories. And, okay, seeing memories of Ruth or the Timeless Doctor's memories can be intriguing, especially since it connects to our villains who were the enemies of her. But the rest, it's like we spend all this time with Dan and Yaz, who we don't care about their memories. It's like, it's just, okay, we need to get you, and I'm stuck. It's just, we spend half our time for them being stuck and confused and trying to get to the Doctor. And those scenes just, like, we didn't need one too many of those scenes for them. Vinder, okay, he's kind of interesting, but I'm wondering where they're going. Especially with the ending, because, you know, this whole episode we're following somebody called Belle. She's fighting Cybermen, she's fighting everyone, she's in the post-flux. Then it turns out she's the lo lost loved one of Vinder. So, that'll be interesting, and people already making theories about who their child is. But let's not get into those. But... Again, I have so many questions, like, okay, we've got our Ruth Doctor, we've got our enemies, and then we're teleported to this place with this older woman, who seems to be behind the flux, but is also, but that was also a Ruth memory, right? I, I have so many, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm confused, I'm confused, and this seems to be the common consensus, I mean, you know, the first episode was a mess because it seemed to be setting up everything. This just seems to be a mess for mess sake. Like, what were they thinking? I under, it's like they're try, trying to give us an info dump episode, but it, they just did it so poorly and messy. And I am a little disappointed because we all got excited about the Doctor in that black jacket. It turns out that was just because it was the Ruth Doctor, not the actual Doctor. What a disappointment that is. I hope we see that jacket again. The Doctor just looks so much better in it. Oh well. It, it, the cliffhanger is interesting because, hey look, the angels have the phone box. But still, that came out of nowhere again. I did, fi I did find the scene of Yaz playing games hilarious because Yaz is using a Switch controller. No, Yaz is using a PlayStation 4 controller and her friend was using a Switch controller. What? And let's not even forget. Although a first-person shooter game with Weeping Angels would actually be really weird and cool. Somebody should invent that. But still, like, I, I, I can't wrap my head around this. I mean, this episode felt, I don't want to say like filler, but it kind of felt like filler. And not in a good way. Like, at least the Sontaran one was interesting for Sontaran's sake. And I think next episode is going to be similar to the Sontaran episode where it might be mostly focusing on the angels because it seems to more focus on something disconnected, which is what I liked. I, the best part of the story is when we're disconnecting from this whole mess. You know, we were all praising episode two and we we're wondering, oh, are we actually on the right track? Uh, maybe not. Back to series, back to the 13th Doctor being a complete mess. Also, I can see a lot of people being annoyed at this because, hey, we're picking up stuff with the Timeless Doctor and all that stuff, so... Oh boy, let's get, let's not get into that again. I mean, I don't mind it as much as other people, but I can imagine some people are going to be quite annoyed at that. But, oh well. Seriously, though... It's just hard to wrap... I mean, we also just had literally everything in this episode. We have Dalek, Cybermen, we had Angels, and like, okay, maybe the Angels will connect to next episode, but they also seem to be just completely random. Daleks were here for about three seconds, and so were Cybermen. They were just part of Belle's story, which, again, was completely random until you find out she's connected to Vinder, and even then, we're like, okay, where's this going? I understand that this is supposed to be, you know, an ongoing story, so we're not supposed to know everything now. I understand that. I'm used to watching shows like that. But the point still stands. You should still, even shows which are one big story, you should still be able to enjoy an individual episode for what it has. 
And I'm not enjoying this episode for what it has. It just felt like a mess. Some of it felt like setup. The rest felt like a waste. So many wasted scenes. Like Dan's just popping all over the place. Like his. Also, the villains apparently have Diane prisoner. That was the only exciting part. Other than that, Dan's memories were completely. But also, Dan bumps into that one guy from the 1800s again, and we still don't know how he connects to any of this. We're not going to the 1800s next episode. Dan was here. He was in the last episode. What is going on with this eight guy from the 1800s? Somebody explain this. This is... We're halfway through this series, and we're all just confused. We were wondering if Series 13 was going to be the best, but now I'm starting to think it's just going to be a complete mess. Oh, my goodness. I don't... Look, I'm not trying to come off as somebody negative. I'm not. I'm not the negative person who always hates everything. I'm not. But let's be real. This was messy. Things to be excited for are Vinder and the Ruth Doctor. Those were exciting, and I will admit they kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, people theorised, but there was no actual foreshadowing. Also, it turns out Planet Time did not connect to Gallifrey, at least not, not in this episode anyway. So... I don't know, there's not too much to be excited for, like, the, you know, the only things I'm excited for are things like, oh, the angels, but that appears to be more about next episode, what does this episode have as a selling point, this episode only has as a selling point is set up, which is really bad on a rewatch, think of it this way, all the things we did ex get excited about in this episode, like Belle, Fender, the Ruth Doctor, the angels, those are all things which will presumably factor into later episodes. They're set up. This episode as a single episode has nothing going for it. Last episode, you could say that the ongoing story is Yaz finding planet time, but the exciting part is the Suntarans. You can watch last episode just for the Suntarans, but if you're re-watching this episode, this would not be one I'd want to re-watch. It would just be a complete boring mess. And I'd feel like, well, I don't need to set up, I already know things, so what would be the point this time? And therein lies the problem. There's nothing exciting about this. D even Dan didn't get to have as many good moments. We also wonder, who were the other two people that were working with the Ruth Doctor? The person who was who looked like Dan turned out to be um, that dog person. But what about the other two? Because remember, everyone just looks like somebody else. Yeah, this is weird. Um, I'm probably just going to give this episode a 5.5, and that's a pretty low rating by my standards. Oh, boy. I didn't think I was going to come into this episode being this negative, but halfway through, I was just thinking, you know, at the start, I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Halfway through, I'm thinking, what's going on? And it keeps happening, and I'm like, wait a minute, where's this episode going? Surely it's almost over, and then it ends. So I'm like, well, pff, what, what was all this? 40 minutes of complete nothingness, then we confront our villains, then that's the end. Oh boy. The next episode's all about the angels, and we're in, what, 1960-something apparently, or 1860-something. That's at least exciting. That's gotta be the, at least the, I, I have a theory that next episode might be more exciting. In a similar way to the Sontaran episode, where the Sontaran aspect is exciting, and next episode might be exciting for all the angel stuff. But again, how's this going to connect to our ongoing plot? What even is our ongoing plot? <sighs> this bet, look. If it turns out by the end of this season that all the setup in this episode was actually quite good, I might be okay with it. But this episode hinges pure... This is the problem with this episode is its enjoyment hinges purely on what comes later. And even then, you're enjoying it for what comes later what is, rather than what is now. And that is the problem. Anyway, let's hope next episode is better. I will see you next week for more Doctor Who and other things as well. See you next time, guys.